We're going to begin tonight with breaking news on the White House's new vaccine timeline and those major rollbacks of coronavirus restrictions. As we come on the air tonight, the governors of Texas and Mississippi say they are lifting nearly all of their state's coronavirus restrictions and mask mandates in the coming days. Now, despite new warnings that the U.S. could soon face a deadly fourth surge of the virus. Now, those moves come less than a day after the CDC director said she was deeply concerned that lifting regulations would cause the country to completely lose hard-earned ground in the fight against COVID. Now, at the same time tonight here in Washington, President Biden just moved up his timeline to get the country vaccinated, promising that his administration will now have enough supply of vaccine by the end of May for all adults in the U.S. to get their shots. Now, that is two months earlier than his original target. The president says that's now possible because of an unprecedented $100 million deal with the drug maker Merck, which just agreed to help its rival, Johnson & Johnson, produced that company's new one-shot vaccine. Plus, we have some new details tonight about the goal Mr. Biden just set to get all teachers and school workers their first shots. So there's a lot of important headlines for you and your family tonight. We've got our team of correspondents covering them all. CBS's Janet Chamberlain is going to lead off our coverage from Houston, Texas. Good evening, Janet. Nora, the Johnson vaccine arriving at vaccination sites like this one is a game changer, but it's coming as COVID restrictions are being canceled. Here in Texas, it's back to business in just eight days in a state where the infections per capita are among the highest in the U.S. On the ground and into arms. But as the first Johnson & Johnson vaccines are delivered and administered, the Texas governor late today announced he's rolling back all COVID restrictions. It is now time to open Texas 100%. Also, I am ending the statewide mask mandate. And the Lone Star State is not alone. This new order removes all of our county mask mandates and allows businesses to operate at full capacity. Public health officials warn it's too much too soon. If we lift the restrictions now, we'll, we're just asking for another wave. And remember, every time we get another wave, people have died. Now is not the time to be lifting our restrictions. The finish line may be in view, but we're not there yet. Yet it's happening across the country. Massachusetts is now allowing restaurants to open at full capacity, plus live performances. On Wednesday, San Francisco will allow indoor dining for the first time in months. And in Chicago, bars and restaurants can stay open until 1 a.m. Because people are still adhering to the public health guidance, it makes all the difference in the world. On the vaccine front, a major announcement today from the White House. We also invoked the Defense Production Act. This is the type of collaboration between companies we saw in World War II. Pharmaceutical giants and rivals now teaming up. Merck and Company, which failed to create its own vaccine, agreeing to mass produce Johnson & Johnson's, substantially increasing doses. We're now on track to have enough vaccine supply for every adult in America by the end of May. The race to step up vaccinations coming as new COVID variant cases are on the rise. It is really a call to wake us up. While we're getting fatigued, these variants will take any opportunity to succeed if we give it to them. And so we just cannot give them that opportunity. Also tonight, President Biden directing all states to prioritize teachers. He wants every educator to have had their first shot by the end of this month. Nora. That's incredible news. All right, Jana Chamley, and thank you.